Third party suppliers have moved very, very fast towards Tesla's NAX North American charging standard. They're now providing Tesla charging ports to automakers and consumers. And this has happened a lot quicker than analysts expected it to. This transition away from CCS to Tesla NAX could very well occur very, very soon. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. Tesla NAX. Yes, it's now being called the North American Standard, even by the analysts who thought that was a joke. They thought it was ridiculous. They thought Tesla shouldn't be making these kinds of claims. And all of a sudden, they've all changed their tune. I feel a bit weird calling it the North American Standard, but it will be. I mean, that much is basically settled. So here we are. What's actually happening? Tesla Charging Connector Licensee has now shipped NAX components to other car makers. This is happening quicker than we thought. Tesla has issued its first North American charging standard connector license. Volex says it is already stocked up on NAX ports and connectors, and, to sh and it's about to ship them to other EV makers and charging networks. This is all gonna roll out really much faster than I personally anticipated, but it's good for consumers. I mean, look what's happening to Apple in Europe. Europe is saying, Apple, Apple, you guys are Muppets. Now I've, I've got an Apple phone. I must be a Muppet too. Yeah. Stop using these ridiculous chargers. Look at these, this crap. These things break constantly. They suck. You know, Apple phones, they're pretty good. But I mean, Apple chargers, they're, they're rubbish, right? So Europe's saying, Apple, USB-C, or you can get lost. No selling your phones here. Now, that's actually good for consumers. I mean, I feel like it's being, you know, being a bit of a nanny, being restrictive on companies. But actually what that ends up doing is benefiting consumers, having a, you know, an entire standard for all, all vehicles, for all phones, for all whatever product it is. So this is going to benefit consumers, having these NAX chargers as the standard. And there was no other choice. What were they going to use? I mean, seriously, there was no other option. I think that's clearly why Jim Farley, why Ford, General Motors jumped on board so quickly. After submitting its open source North American charging standard, NAX, for industry-wide SAE standardization, Tesla has now issued its first charging connector production license to Volex. This move was a long time in the making, says Notebook Check. It seems as, together with the licensee announcement, Volex said that it is stocked and ready to deliver Tesla charging components to automakers and charging infrastructure networks that announced they will adopt NAX. In other words, I believe it's probably already shipping them out right now. You wouldn't have them just produced just sitting there. In this situation, I would say they've already produced them. They're in the process of sending them out now to manufacturers. These manufacturers include General Motors, Ford, Rivian, Volvo, Mercedes, and a number of other car makers as well. Also, America's largest and fastest charging network alternatives to Tesla superchargers. They're going to put them in as well. Basically, even CCS suppliers of those charging networks are saying, yeah, all right, okay, all right, we give in. It's the North American standard. This is, this is good. America's largest and fastest charging network alternatives to Tesla superchargers have decided to roll them out. And the US government's Inflation Reduction Act incentives that set aside US $7.5 billion for nationwide EV charging networks have something to do with the adoption as well. On a state and a federal level, it's not only subsidized Tesla superchargers that have to be built with CCS compliant magic docks, but the opposite is actually true as well. Now, charging infrastructure companies that receive public funds are now required to include a Tesla NAX connector on their piles as well. So even though Tesla are not getting any funds from the government, which is, I think, ridiculous, Basically, the government is saying, Tesla, you have to have CCS connectors. You have to have some sort of credit card payment facility. If you don't, then we're not giving you any funds. Tesla's like, well, what you're saying is a bit too, it's going to cost us too much money to roll that out. Uh, but the same goes both ways. So now the other networks who don't have Tesla NAX connectors, they have to have a NAX connector to get funding from the government. So that's a good thing. And therefore, they're installing these NAX connectors because they want the funding from the government. The Voltlex licensing will put a much needed production firewall between Tesla and its open source 
charging standard, putting rival automakers at ease that they won't have to rely solely on their main competitor to supply the charging components. In other words, basically these charging companies can buy these connectors from third party vendors and Volex is one of them. Volex is a selected global manufacturer of the authentic Nax coupler and is stocked and ready to immediately supply automotive OEMs and charging infrastructure suppliers. Now that happened really quickly. You wouldn't think they'd kind of ramp up and start you know, having production going this quickly, but they have. Tesla, on the other hand, this is good for them. This will fulfill the open sourcing and standardization requirements that Tesla need, as well as widen the NAX market potential while it collects fees and royalties from licensed manufacturers. Now there's something we don't talk about, but there is a licensing and fee involved here for Ford, General Motors. Okay, it's gonna be for everyone. You have to join this. It's, it's, you don't have a choice. If you wanna sell EVs in the future, you'll have to join this because what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be Toyota and say, no, 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 we're just gonna have our own. Uh, we're gonna use CCS and eventually they'll just die out. So they won't have a choice. What this means is that every automaker selling cars in North America will have to pay Tesla licensing fees. That's a nice little source of income for Tesla to earn. The other interesting thing is here, who has the biggest network of superchargers that are capable of charging at a fast speed and that are reliable? I mean, if you own an EV from another competitor, would you prefer to use that network or would you prefer to use Electrify America? Well, that's a rhetorical question, but let me know your answer in the comments below. Thank you for watching.